Hello everyone, it's Jima Malmi. Today I wanted to talk about SVG files and how to upload them to Cricut Design Space, specifically close to my heart's SVG files because I feel like they are underutilized and they are such a wonderful resource and they're very reasonably priced. So I'm on my close to my heart website here. This is just the home website. You're going to go to shop and that's where you find all of the products like the stamps and everything. And right now you're getting a peek at some new products because I'm logged in and I can see all the new products coming out April 1st. But I want to show you if you go here to digital art, there is a collection for every single one of close to my heart's paper collections. So right here, you can see a peek at the Hey Handsome collection that will be coming out April 1st. And so these are SVG files that will go along with the collection. So let's go over to the paper so you can see what that looks like. And so you can see how that coordinates. So here's the paper pack. And then let's take a look at that sticker sheet. So this is what that sticker sheet looks like. You can see all of these awesome um, icons. This is such a great masculine collection. So let's go back to that digital art. And specifically, I want to look at this. So we see that there are some titles. Hey, handsome. I love my boys. There are some other things that you can use as high titles and then some little icons, big bro, little bro, some glasses, a top hat, some tools. These are going to be super handy for cards and layouts of my hubby. Um, and then there's actually an entire layout. And the way this comes into your Cricut design space is the whole layout. So all you have to do is hit cut, which is awesome. And then there are also a couple of cards, which are the same thing. They come in as a full, um, card, and then you can ungroup them and actually use these things individually. So if you wanted to use happy father's day on a layout title, you certainly could, you would just pull in this card, ungroup it, uh, delete everything except for this happy father's day and then you can size it to a layout so let me show you how that works once you purchase this i've already purchased it but i wanted to show you where to find it it will be in an email that you get after you purchase it or you can go up here when you're logged in on my website you go to account and then go over to digital library and you'll see all of the digital collections that you've purchased. So I would then hit this little download icon next to Hey Handsome, and that is going to download it to my computer as a zip file. So now what I'm going to do is open up Cricut Design Space and it may take a moment. Okay, so now I am at the home page of Cricut Design Space. I am going to go to a new project or whatever you need to do to just get to the mat. Okay, so I'm in Cricut Design Space, but before I actually put it, pull it into Cricut Design Space, I need to go and unzip that folder. So I have a Mac, it may look a little bit different for you, but I know that I saved it to downloads and here it is right here. So I am going to double click that and it unzips that folder. So then I can double click and open this and I can see all of those icons in here and there's even a PDF reference. So if you wanted to reference what is in this collection, Collection, you've got that here in this folder, but we won't be bringing that into uh, design space. Okay, so now that that folder is unzipped, we can close that. And then in Cricut Design Space, you're going to go over here to upload on the left and click that. And then you're going to go here to upload image. Now, the downside is that you have to do all of this individually. So you are going to go to browse. And then you're going to go to this folder and then you will do each one of these individually. So I will double click on that one. We definitely want the cut image. Sometimes it gives you an option for a cut image or a print image. You want that. And so then you want to name it. It already has it named as arrow, but I like to also put the name of the collection that it's in. So I will put, Hey, handsome. 
on this as well. And then you can add any tags, which are like keywords that might help you to find this image as well. For the arrow, I don't think I need any. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit upload. And then we can now see that here in my um, uploaded images. So I wanna show you what it looks like for the scrapbook page. So I'll go back to browse, go back to this folder, and then I'm gonna pull in this scrapbook layout. Now, this particular collection has a single page scrapbook layout. Some of the collections have a double page scrapbook layout. Um, it just depends on the collection. So we see here that it's going to upload it as a cut image. That's what we want. Hey there, handsome single page. I think I'm gonna leave it like that because if I were to do a search, well, maybe I'll just add hey handsome at the end just to keep it consistent. But if I were to do a search um, for hey handsome, this should pull up because it's got hey and handsome in there. But just for consistency, I'll add that. And then I might add some other things like layout, handsome, arrow, star, hey, there, I'm having trouble with my nails, <laughs> um, flag, I'm going to put saw because that bottom image that's down here sort of looks like a saw blade. So I think that's pretty good um, for anything that I might search and I, I can find any of these little individual items that are on here. I might add golf because that flag looks kind of like a golf, um, you know, a golf flag. So I'll just do that. And then we will hit upload. And now we have that here. So let me show you how this works once you have it in design space. You're gonna do this for every single one of those images in the SVG collection. You're gonna hit add. And then there it is there. So it comes in grouped. So when you click over here, you can see all of these things and over here are underneath, like indented and underneath. That's because they're grouped, okay? So when you click this, you see that the outline is around the whole thing. Over here on the right at the top is ungroup. You're going to click that and then click off of the image and then you'll have more opportunities to ungroup or so now this is grouped um, so we're gonna have to ungroup that again there might be several groupings so like the handsome this is all um, grouped you probably want to keep that grouped though because otherwise all of these things are going to be individual unless you wanted it that way so now we've got oh those insides so I think I probably would keep this all grouped so I'm doing a control a command Z or control Z to undo that'll uh, undo what I just did I'll keep that all grouped this is probably grouped yeah so I'd probably keep that grouped and then what I might do is actually group these back together you're gonna hit this and then that way these are just grouped together but they're not with everything else and then I can size it down size it up whatever I want to do so it's kind of a like a you have it's kind of a puzzle sometimes you have to figure out okay how did they group everything but just know if you have too many things connected just keep going up to this ungroup and then you can move things around so say I wanted just this I can then click and drag over this whole thing hit delete on my keyboard and all I'm left is with this so that's how you would isolate just single items from a collection um, and just be able to use that and so you have the option to use that whole layout if you want and just cut it as is or you can make tweaks to it I often do that um, and I have a layout coming up soon where I'm actually going to be tweaking a layout and creating it to be my own but this is how you would do that for just one individual image again there is a collection for every single one of close to my heart's paper collections and so you can see those here here's a quick look at the new hello darling collection and then here is the new cosette collection that's got a double page layout cards even an envelope with a cute scalloped flap on there and then lots of um, icons that go along with that paper collection 
We've got the Life's a Hoot digital art collection. I showed this in a recent video where I used just this little circles background. I didn't show you how to do it. I just kind of talked about it, but it would be the same idea that I just showed you. You would just take that one item, isolate it and delete everything else from that collection. Um, so there's the storybook collection. That is one of the um, current collections, the Are We There Yet collection, and I have a layout coming up where I completely changed this explore layout. So I'm going to show you step by step how I did that in Design Space. And there's also a lot of single collections or single images or icons that are only a dollar. You guys, it's so cheap. Look at this flower. Um, it's like a whole flower cluster that's a dollar for an SVG. You can't find them that cheap on Etsy. There is a collection of all of the months of the year for $16 or they're each available individually for a dollar. So like if you wanted just November, it's a dollar. Um, and again, you can use like just the flowers from this May one and use just the flower and the leaves even if you don't want May. Um, so you have that option. So we have a lot of SVGs. Some of them are great titles. I made a shirt with this one, Eat, Sleep, Craft, Repeat. I put on a shirt and a sweatshirt um, and I wear that to retreats. Um, so yeah, lots of fun ones and let me scroll down. Okay, so here are all of the older collections. So even when a collection retires, the digital art is still available. So. For example, this Cherish collection was super popular. It's sold out, but if you wanted just some of the elements from it, they're available still in the digital collection. And then the Freshly Baked, Crisp Air. So all of these will match a lot of the previous collections that we had. Here's another one in full bloom that was super popular. The paper sold out quickly, but if you want some of those same embellishments um, and you want to cut it out on your either Cricut machine or this will also work on the um, silhouette. So any die cut machine, electronic die cut machine that you have that takes SVGs, you can use this. So I hope that this was helpful in seeing how the SVGs work. If you're doing a Disney trip, here's a great Disney collection. But let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and I would be happy to answer those. If this video was helpful, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see my process for how I created that layout with the background from Life's a Hoot, you can find that right here. Thanks for watching and have a great day.